Thanks for joining us today here on a Ravens Run Down by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you as we are talking cut candidates. I got five players for your Baltimore Ravens that they could potentially move on from to try to save some money, some cap space for this offseason because they're going to need some more money when it comes to signing their draft picks as well as potential free agents and trades. We'll go over all of that, break down the numbers for you and the individuals in just a matter of moments. Before we do, a little survey for the flock out there. I want to know, how long have you been a fan of the Baltimore Ravens? This franchise has been around since 96. Have you been a fan for five years or more? If so, like the video. If not, comment and tell me how long you've been a fan of this team. I was born in 96. So I've been around a while. What about you guys? Let me know. We'll get started with today's show. The Ravens enter the 2024 offseason with about $7.3 million in cap space. Not a ton of money that they have to work with. So they will need to go find some money. In the words of Dave Ramsey, they've got to make their money work for you. The potential cap savings we're talking about today, the Ravens could free up about $33 $33 million in cap space if they were to cut all of the players that we mentioned on today's show. And they could even cut more players beyond just the five we'll talk about today. But there is potential money sitting out there. And when you talk about guys like uh, you know Justin and Patrick and these others that you would like to keep around, you got to find some money somewhere to keep that possibility out there. Let's begin with Ronnie Stanley at the offensive tackle position. And I got to tell you, Ronnie Stanley, for as much money that he's been paid over the last few years, he has been a major disappointment, especially as of late for Baltimore, with the money that they're paying him. I mean, every time Ronnie Stanley cashes a paycheck, he's stealing money, okay? Let's be frank. He's missed 36 regular season games since 2020. And even when he was on the football field last year, he didn't do shit. He committed 10 penalties and allowed four sacks. Ronnie Stanley was bad, okay? The Ravens are best off moving on, saving the $15 million, and spending it elsewhere. For me... This is an easy call. I am cutting Ronnie Stanley and saying sayonara and go spending my money uh, on other things and not spending them on Ronnie Stanley. And even if you were to keep him around, let's say you go draft a tackle this year's draft, there's, there's a chance they might actually even beat out Ronnie Stanley. So not only is he overpaid, but his play has significantly declined. No thanks. Should the Ravens cut Ronnie Stanley? What do you think? Type Y for yes, N for no. Weigh in on our pinned comment today and let us know what you think if the Ravens should move on from Stanley or not. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time, the place to go for last-minute tickets for the best seats, the lowest prices guaranteed, sporting events, concerts, theater productions, comedy shows, and more. You can save $20 off your first purchase when you use the promo code Ravens Chat. Pick the event you want to go to. they got the prices listed. Pick a seat. Look for those flash deals that save you tons of money. And then you're checking out within a matter of moments. We have Apple Pay, Google Pay, all major credit card providers. It's very easy with game time. And not only are we giving you $20 off your first purchase, if you're headed out to Vegas this weekend for the big game featuring the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers, you are in luck because we are offering $100 off with the promo code Vegas100. And you don't have to be a first-time user to use it. In fact, you can pair up that promo code with the Ravens chat promo code and save $120 on your tickets to the big game. So what are you waiting for? Download game time today. Terms and conditions to apply. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. Game time, proud partner of Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. We appreciate them being on board here on today's show. Next up, we find Rashad Bateman at the wide receiver position. And here we are a few years into Rashad Bateman's career, the former first-round pick. And it's been a bit of a disappointment, to say the least, from Rashad Bateman. He's missed a total of 17 games since 2021. And this year, when he was actually healthy, 
and had a chance to stand out in this offense, right? It was all fresh blood coming into that receiving room. He was the only returner, right? When you brought in Zay Flowers and OBJ and Nelson Aguilar, and he was the only one that had played with Lamar Jackson, there was still a chance for Rashad Bateman to be the number one receiver on this Ravens team. It was an open competition heading in 2023. You know what happened? He was fifth, fifth in catches this year with 32. Sixth in receiving yards with 367 for the Ravens. I mean, it, it was a disappointment, to say the least, when it came to Rashad Bateman. Opportunity knocked, and he never answered the door. I mean, he, he left him on red, essentially, this year. I was very disappointed in Rashad Bateman not playing to his full potential. But even with that said, he doesn't cost a ton of money. I know that he is your highest-paid receiver entering next year, but it's still not a lot of money. I would keep Rashad Bateman, let him play out his rookie contract, and then move on from there. I think that it does you better just to go ahead and keep him around pay him the rest of that rookie contract and see, give him one more shot and figure out things from there as far as I'm concerned personally. Next on the list, we find Tyus Bowser. Uh, and I got to tell you, this is another one for me when we talk disappointment. Think about this. Tyus last year played in only 64% of defensive snaps in just nine games. Had the knee injury. There was a real lack of production when he was even on the football field. In those nine games of the 64% snaps, you're looking at somebody that only had two sacks and seven total pressures. And we know what the Ravens have with uh, players like David Ajabo and others and trying to re-sign Jadavian Clowney and all that. Uh, I, I just don't think it's worth keeping Tyus around at this point. You can save close to $6 million with the release. I think that's an easy call. I would cut Tyus and move on from him and go from there. Now, our next name on our list, we find, is Morgan Moses, another offensive tackle for the Baltimore Ravens. And Morgan Moses, he's not a spring chicken by any means. 33 years old, entering 2024. And I got to tell you, Morgan Moses, I mean, he's not a bad football player. You, you look at the numbers last year, according to PFF, they ranked him as the 15th best offensive tackle among all offensive tackles in the league in 2023 despite giving up five sacks but with his age factoring in and the money that you could potentially save 5.5 million this to me makes sense to cut him at this point in time and try to find a younger cheaper option than Morgan Moses here I think that is the more likely distinction to make and, and it's the Belichick philosophy is one thing that I always talk to talk about, subscribe to. you rather cut a guy a year too early than a year too late. And I think that's what we're looking at with Morgan Moses here is that you say, all right, we'll go ahead and cut him now, although he still might have something left in the tank. But we're going to save that money, and we're not going to hang on to him too long as far as that goes. More to come in just a moment, but first, who's a player the Ravens should cut? We've talked about a few already. What do you guys think? Way in the comments section and tell us who you think Baltimore should move on from. Last on our list, another offensive lineman, Patrick McCarry, is on the list. And I, I got to tell you, uh, Patrick's a guy that is not a, a bad football player, okay? Played 580 snaps as a reserve tackle in 2023. PFF grade overall was 69.5. Gave up a total of five sacks. Um, but he is replaceable. And I think that's the key here. As the Ravens are trying to assemble this roster for 2024 and put the best product out there, you can save that $4 million, spend it elsewhere, go get a younger player and do the same job. I would cut Patrick. I mean, it's not personal. It's just business, quite frankly, uh, as far as that goes to me when it comes to that decision. So, to a recap, our cut candidates, Ronnie Stanley, you're out of here. Rashad Bateman will keep around for now. Tyus is gone. Morgan's gone. Patrick's gone. And those are our cut candidates here on this edition of Ravens Rundown. Appreciate you joining us. If you enjoyed today's show, like the video. We'd certainly appreciate it. We'll see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown. So long.